What is up guys? Today we are at the Raleigh Flea Market, the biggest flea market in North Carolina. We're excited to look around, see if we can find some good deals for ourselves and maybe some possible items to flip. It is a beautiful day in uh, the middle of the summer here. <laughs> so it's pretty warm, but that is okay. We're here and we're excited to walk around and find some fun items. So come along with us on this fun journey today. Our first stop today is a pretty cool Latino Hispanic booth and we were drawn by these pretty cool mortar and pestle that kind of look like a dog with a face on the front, which is neat. We also get to look at this uh, tortilla press. We love making homemade tortillas for tacos or quesadillas and such. So we asked the price and he says about $25. It's unfortunate because I looked on Amazon later and they're selling it for about the same price and I actually ended up finding one for $18.50. That's an open box. So we did end up unfortunately buying it from Amazon. So we do hope to support local, but we tried to haggle with them and they were unwilling to haggle. A lot of times at the flea market, you can't haggle with people and they'll be fine to accept your price or at least maybe knock off a few dollars for you. So make sure when you go out to the flea markets, go ahead and throw a number out there. They might accept it, you never know. So if you like an item, just try to get it. So anyway, we're moving on here. You can see there's a lot of booths outside and uh, we kind of go to the back here to someone with a lot of shoes. We do like looking for shoes. Uh, both for ourselves and for possible uh, reselling items. If you can find a good deal for used shoes, you never know what they could go for. So we always do like to look. They had a couple of uh, cool ones. We like to find the Adidas shoes or Nike shoes. We've actually had good luck in selling uh, Adidas shoes. So that is now what we kind of try to look for. We didn't see any uh, good prices, so we moved on here to some other shoes. We liked these kind of leopard print shoes, which were cool. And uh, now is a good season to look for boots. They're not really selling, of course, because it's in the summer. But if you find a good deal like these coach ones, they'll sell in uh, the fall, maybe. We couldn't find the exact uh, comps to match with. They're probably worth around 20 or $30. so. We did also pass these up and decide to walk on and keep looking, see if we can find anything. We are pretty bad at asking the price of things, so we do need to get better at asking how much they want for stuff. This Asian vase was super cool. I don't think it's worth 90, uh, but that's what I found it on, which is funny, uh, Poshmark for, it was a little bit different style, but uh, we're kind of a sucker for the Asian style. Uh, vases as some people like to say we go on to look at these hats here we also like to look at hats uh, they're pretty easy to ship people like them I, I bought I recently got a Zelda hat for myself you know you, you have to <laughs> if you uh, like it we're looking up uh, this California hat here I couldn't really find it too online it's like 10 to 13 dollars uh, the person was actually not at their booth, I think, or maybe they had stepped away for a second. So we couldn't ask how much they wanted for this hat, but that's what we're trying to find, this hat. And there's this cool Led Zeppelin hat too. We probably should have gotten this hat. Again, not sure how much they wanted for it. I wish we could have asked. Uh, we probably should have come back for this hat because you can see it was worth around 20. So while we decide if we should stick around and ask the price on that, hats i do see these pretty cool mario and luigi toys over here they were actually not worth too much but i mean they're pretty cool so i know they do go on the chinese websites for really cheap if you're willing to wait you know two to three weeks up to a month to receive it uh, it was pretty tempting but again we just kind of decided not to uh to go with those we probably should have circled back but there was a lot to see. So you kind of get uh, distracted and walking around and looking at everything. So anyway, we're just uh, moving on. 
seeing uh, if we can find anything else that's pretty cool. So we see this booth on the right here, and this guy says this piece that we're looking at on the ground was selling on eBay for like over a hundred bucks, and he just wanted like 25 for it. It was a pretty cool piece. Uh, when we got home, I actually couldn't find it on eBay, but it was pretty neat. I would believe that it could be upwards of 50 plus uh, dollars, but it was on the ground, so not the best uh, presentation. We just uh, decided to, to move on. You know, we really like looking for hats and clothing and shoes, so I think that's what we got our uh, eyes set on here. So, and uh, video games, of course. So we see a booth with some games and uh, kind of take a peek. Looking more for Wii games, uh, just regular Wii, but they did have Halo here for Xbox One. Not going for too much, and again, they didn't say how much they wanted for it. It would have been nice in a lot of these booths if they had the prices written down like on the table or on the items. I know it's a lot of work and you're probably just supposed to ask how much the price is. But again, when you kind of get distracted by so many things that you're looking at and trying to see, you know, it can be kind of hard. It, you know, if the price was listed right there, you know, for a few bucks, you know, we might have gotten it. But that's all right. Just uh, something to think about. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to wrap up part one here. We don't want this video to be too long. And yeah, catch us back here for part two soon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had fun walking around the biggest flea market in North Carolina. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content like this. And we'll catch you on part two of our flea market vlogging ventures. Looking for cool items and good deals.